Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and Star Daily Card Reading for March 17th, 2022. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. All right, angelsouls444.com for personal readings, gumroad.com slash angelsouls for videos on angels, spirituality, meditations, you name it. We got all the goods, we got everything. All right, <laughs> let's see what we have here. We have New Moon and Taurus, Know Your Worth. All right, so this is a big one. This is a lot of, the whole theme here is a lot of deconditioning. And knowing your worth means that you don't necessarily say yes to things if it doesn't feel right for you. And that might be not saying yes to a certain job. Um, you know, when I've been in days of job hunting and they had all these like really strict parameters in the job that, you know, I know the work and I know that that stuff that they're putting there it was probably written by somebody who doesn't understand what that role is because it's all so unnecessary and it, it doesn't even fit with what they're, <laughs> with what they're needing. Do you know what I'm saying? Comment down below if you can relate to that, but you know, you can say no to that. Or if, you know, a company is, um, I'm, I'm on the job example here, but if a company is like, you will do this, this, and this, and uh, you know what I'm talking about, and we're not going to give you a choice. It's either that, or you sacrifice your livelihood, at least with this company, I mean, you know your worth. If you're like, you know what? No, you're not going to tell me how I'm going to live, <laughs> right? You're not going to censor me or whatever the case may be, okay? So that's just one example. And in other examples, knowing that uh, you don't have to have someone run you. One of the most disturbing, I've been watching a lot of uh, social media things because, you know, this is the kind of work I do. So I need to know what's out there, what's going on and where people are coming from. And I saw this one where... Um, this guy was pretending to not like his wife's outfit and she comes out and he basically says, I don't like that outfit. And she starts to get like, are you serious? You don't, you don't like this? Okay. And she's like going to run off and change. And he's like, I'm just kidding. She's like, oh my gosh, I was so scared that you didn't like my outfit. What is going on? Why? What? Huh? And the, the comments, you guys go to the comment section, go to the comment section. If you know this video, what I'm talking about. Only one person said, this is messed up. Everybody else was like, no, I think your shirt is super cute. I can't. Okay, like, <laughs> we don't need to be controlled. But do you see how people just didn't pick up that, that this was like a really like toxic kind of thing? Like, why does she need to be scared that her husband doesn't like what she looks like in a certain outfit? Ugh, anyway, we could go on and on about that. But knowing your worth, these are the kinds of things where we don't need to be so down on one another. And you might see everyone will twist words. Well, you're being down on these people for having that opinion. I think it definitely shows a dynamic in a relationship that a lot of us have become numb to. Does that woman know her worth? Okay. And why did this guy think it would be funny to put this on social media? You see what I mean? There's some, there's some stuff that needs to be looked at there. Um, some frequencies that need to be addressed, <laughs> right? So that is what we're talking about here, waking up to these patterns and, um, you know, maybe, maybe speaking, you were saying, speak your creation into uh, your, your truth into your creation. I think that was yesterday. Uh, so we can create the kind of life that we want, but if you're in a situation where you feel super controlled, you know, it's time for us to wake up to that and be balanced and harmonious within ourselves. Okay. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love. And take care.